Hey, good morning. Welcome back to another exciting video of mine. Today, I'm going to finish up the last portion of the trail I've been working on for the last, oh, I don't know, maybe two months, I guess, three months, maybe, maybe even more than that. Maybe it was from, it might've started in February, so you could do the math. So here's the story. I had a desire to make a trail that would connect um, one of the climbing trails with one of the downhill trails. And the way you had to do it before was to ride a fire road that was really bad. Lots of rocks, very unpleasant in general. After I got done building Rock Ridge, you know, I got my feet kind of wet with the process and how much fun it is to kind of design something and build something that people will come out and have a good time with. So knowing how much I hated the fire road, I figured probably every other rider out there hates the fire road also. And seeing how I like to build trails and I like to ride mountain bikes and I don't like to ride fire roads, I decided to take upon myself to build a connecting trail from the climb trail to the downhill trail. But the problem was, is I started from the downhill trail and I worked my way um, up the mountain towards the climb trail, which is called Nusuk. And when I got done with the first part, I basically ran into a wall of bushes and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. It's just way too thick. It's gonna take forever. But after many, many sleepless nights of thinking about it, I decided just to try it and just, you know, go 10 feet at a time and do as much as I want each day. And it took forever to break through these shrubs. But I initially, I first, I got through it and then, you know, then it was like on the other side over here, it was a lot more tame. The, the bushes were spread out more, so it wasn't that hard. It was just more like designing the path or whatever. So anyways, I built that sec I built that section over here first, okay? It was beautiful, everybody loved it. I got hyped. I said, yeah, this is gonna be good. I might as well go for it. So now I built that section, and now I gotta do is connect this section with this section, and that is basically I gotta figure out how to get from here to there. So it's another probably like, I don't know, 50 yards maybe? I can already see some areas where maybe the, the animals have kind of like paved the way, which is typically what I try to do when I'm building a trail is I try to find the, maybe not the best way, but the easiest way. And you know, sometimes that's not the greatest way. You know, I'm not a machine, so I'm just doing my best. I gotta figure out the line here and then I'll start chopping. I can see the second part of the trail. This is what I just did this morning. You can see it's gonna wrap all the way over there. Boom. I just gotta make it rideable so I could create the segment real quick before someone else does. Almost there. Just get this branch out of here. Ah. Ah. Sorry, plant. Maybe create a little rock you know guidance even though people keep on removing my rock guidance i don't know why i guess they don't want people to find the trail that they didn't build when i'm actively trying to make it available for people all right there it is and then you're on to the second part i kind of wish i would made it go down but screw that i want to move that sign to the beginning and then we'll be done rock behind it yes. yes 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 there we have it cute or i mean sick bro all right that's it all right so we're back <clears throat> this is called well on strava at least it's called new suck trail the name speaks for itself so it's a series of really loose, rocky switchbacks uh, that pretty much sucks no matter how you twist it. It's challenging every time. It doesn't matter if you're feeling good. It's, it's always a struggle to get up this shit. But I kind of wanted to show y'all 
I mean, most of you guys who are watching this already know this trail and know why it sucks so bad. When it gets hot, it's just like here's baking straight in the sun. Right now it's nice and overcast, so not too mad at that. But anyways, the issue is that to get to Slot Car and some of the other funner trails like Hidden Trail, you basically have to go up this. And there's no, no real good workaround. This is the trail. And I think it stops a lot of people from exploring this side of the canyon because it's difficult. It's not really fun. And when you get to the top of it, you, there's no reward really. Like, I mean there is, but it's just challenging. It's not like, oh, thank God I'm done with this shitty climb. Now I get to have a fun descent. You gotta go down slot car, which is fun, but kind of scary. And it's always an adventure for sure. Lots of pedal strikes and timing. Sometimes it's super loose. Sometimes it's super, super loose. Those are basically the two, <laughs> the two conditions are loose, super loose. My idea was to make this climb pay off in some sort of way and give you a break. Because as you'll see here in a second, once you get top of this shitty climb, they're just more shitty. It's a shitty fire road. Fuck you. Okay. Whew. So you used to come up here, you, you get to the peak here, usually stop, take a good look, take a piss or whatever, enjoy the view. And then you would uh, just continue on this janky ass fire road. And I know most people, including myself, are gassed after that climb. And then this is like what you get to come to. It's like, ah, well, this, that sucked. And this sucks. It's boring. Just kind of just take this time to collect your bearings, more or less. So anyways, I just want to show you guys this part of how it was before I created Comb the Desert, which is an answer to making these two segments connect together and make it a lot funner. So anyways, uh, this is it. This is the fire road that you used to have to take. I mean, it's fun, you know, but it's just a straight, it's a straight shot. And if you don't have momentum to carry you through this part, it's really not fun. So I basically just didn't like how this was uh, like a commute, you know, like, why can't it be fun the whole way? And it makes more sense. Like this part is not honestly that all that bad, but this part right here, when you start doing the descent towards slot car is when it gets real shitty. This is, this is not, I mean, it's, it's fun for sure. It's mountain biking, it's gonna be fun, but it's, it sucks. And then up here on the right is where slot car comes. You just be like, oh fuck, whoa, here's slot car. And that's how it was before. Okay, so now we're gonna go on, comb the desert, come on. So imagine you just got done with this. You're like, oh God, that sucked. I wish there was just something really fun to ride right now. And lo and behold, here's Comb the Desert. Hopefully a lot funner for most people than that fire road. So here's the trail. It took me about, I don't know, maybe three months to build. I used four tools, like a rake, a shovel, a stamper, um, and a pickaxe. And I just, little by little, I built this trail every Sunday and then I started getting more aggressive on the weekdays. And I'll just be quiet and enjoy the ride.
some of these turns are really sharp. And that's intentional. I feel like that's part of my aesthetic, I guess. And there you have it. We go straight in the slot car. So much funner. Get to carry your speed. It's all full of track. I'll just let it run. 